stranded being laid off. In other words, I was retrenched. So here's what happened. See, what happened was <laughs> I was working at this um, large international media house for almost five years. And last year, they let the larger staff know that they wanted to take um, a different direction um, and want, wanted to uh, do a digital first approach. And as a result, uh, some roles would be made redundant. Right now, I am an underemployed journalist. Now, one of the reasons why I've wanted to talk about this is because people think that there's some kind of shame in acknowledging that you've lost your job. And there isn't. This is a really, really tough economic times. People I know, uh, friends that I love and respect, same thing happened to them from the same organization. I know people that have been retrenched or laid off from other larger organizations, from local organizations as well. This is something that is happening across the world. One of the reasons I want us to talk about this is because, you know, there is life after losing your full-time employment. There are people I know who have never been employed and are thriving. There are people who are retrenched and went into entrepreneurship and are thriving. I have gotten retrenched and I'm now fully throwing myself into content creation and I hope to thrive there as well. So in the weeks moving forward, because I'll be giving you guys weekly updates, we'll be talking about how to survive having lost your job or even though you're unemployed right now and you've been trying to look for a job for the longest time and you're like, oh my God, what is this life? That's something also I hope to be able to talk about. Um, I feel like I have this platform for a reason. And if I'm not using this platform to be useful, to be helpful, then I'm not really doing anything with it. Do you know what I mean? Um, so let's talk about how I have been. Uh, I've had a regular paycheck for the better part of a decade now. And, you know, this is kind of like a shock to the system. So I've had to make adjustments to my lifestyle. There are things that I could do without thinking before that I have to put some thought into now. Um, for instance, I've recently lost some weight, which we'll be getting into in a separate video because I'll be telling you how that happened. And so once I lost weight, new clothes, I can't go shopping the same places I used to shop. I have to really like think about where my money is going because again, that paycheck at the end of the month, you know, is not there anymore. But one of the things that I will say is kind of a blessing in disguise is that it has really awakened me to the kind of opportunities that are out there. And there are so many opportunities to make an income. Content creation is big. Entrepreneurship right now is big. Even though, you know, we're in a really tough economic climate right now. But if you have been sitting in your house, you've tamat, you've tamat, you've tamat, and you're like, what? This is not happening for me. Honestly, there are other ways to go. I will say this, uh, having a regular paycheck really made me settle into a little comfort zone. And I stopped thinking outside the box because I was like, hey, see, I'm financially secure. There's financial security. And so you kind of become, hmm, well, for lack of a better word, intellectually lazy. You're like, I just go to work and do my job. And at the end of the month, there's a paycheck. So I've had to really start thinking outside the box in terms of different income streams. So I will be talking about this in the weeks to come, how to survive, where to shop, because when you go to a supermarket and you do monthly shopping, <laughs> you will die. So where to shop, how to look cute on a budget, how to travel on a budget. Just because you've lost your job doesn't mean that you stop having fun. One of the things that I told myself, even when I heard the news that several roles are going to be made redundant, I said that this is my chance to curate, to curate, sorry, to curate a life that I enjoy. And that's something I'd want you and I to do together. So yeah, that's my life update. Shiro got laid off, but I'm doing good. Okay. So if this has also happened to you, or if you've been struggling to find employment, 
or you're thinking of leaving your job and you're like but i can't i can't i can't not have an income right now and if you're in a really toxic situation and you're staying there just because of the income 